How's everyone doing? So, I put a post up on Facebook, I think it was Monday, and Instagram, and I said, um, which is written up there, or down there, uh, I believe up there, if your job is getting in the way of your work, then you may have a problem. So I wanted to explain that because I think some people might have took it the wrong way. And what I mean by that is exactly what it says. If your job gets in the way of your work, then you may have a problem. So I like to split hairs and high performance performing at a high level for a sustained amount of time, like your life possibly, requires splitting hairs. Um, as an athlete, as a BMX racer, the latter half of my professional career was spent splitting hairs, shaving that tenth off, getting that extra pound on my back lifted that much quicker or that much rate of force, all of those things. So splitting hairs is a talent and a skill um, we want to develop as we're looking for that high performance life. Anyways, if your job is getting in the way of your work, then you may have a problem. So one of the replies was that isn't your job and your work the same thing? It could be. It could be. But I always use the example that as a kid, my job was to play and have fun. Or, I mean, excuse me. Sorry. My job, according to my dad, was to rake the leaves. My job, according to my dad, was to pick up the trash or take out the trash. My work was bike racing. My work was play. My work was getting into college. If I was in high school, my work was studying. So to me, the job of raking the leaves, the job of taking out the trash got in the way of my work. Now, as an adult, there are definitely things that we have to do, our responsibilities. So another comment was by my good friend, Coach G, um, Bill Belichick, and you know how they got all the way to the Super Bowl and won, and his whole thing was do your job. And so my reply was, that's awesome, because their jobs, those individuals' players' jobs did not get in the way of their work, which was winning football games or winning championships. And I think a lot of times in our adult life, Sometimes we allow jobs to get in the way of our work. And sometimes our work is raising a healthy family. Sometimes our work, or we want our work to be fixing whatever it is in the world, helping people or possibly teaching people or bringing a product to market, yet we're stuck in this job that is getting in the way of our work. So if your job is getting in the way of your work, then you may have a problem. And that's up to you. That's in your head. So it's just choices. It's just choices and behavior. So as I always say, I recognize that your passion may not pay the bills. But I will say this. Do something that pays for your passion. That's it. Do something that pays for your passion then we will not run into the trouble of your job getting into the way of your work. I hope that helps explain things. Uh, sometimes it takes the tough conversation, the gut check, you know, me pointing the laser or somebody pointing the laser right between the eyes and shooting. Happy to do that. I do that for individuals and companies. As you know, I love you guys. And uh, let's keep the conversation going on Instagram at Real Dr. J. Rich or on my website, that's drjasonrichardson.com. Bring me in to speak or train. We will light it up and set a new course for success. Peace and uh, do your best to not let your job get in the way of your work. And if you need help figuring out what your work is, what your purpose may be, see me. Take care.